Hello. How are you all? This is amazing seeing all your lovely faces over a video link. It took me a while to understand how to do this. I am not as clever as your teachers, and I am so much older than them. Well, I think I am. Although I think Mrs. Price might say she is 21. Ho, ho, ho! You've all grown so much since I saw you. I mean, I know my tummy has got a lot bigger. I do not know about you children in reception in class one, but during lockdown, I just kept eating so many yummy biscuits. Mother Christmas just kept baking so many yummy treats. I bet Mrs. Shields and Mrs. Cox had some sneaky biscuits too. <laughs> Maybe even a packet or two. Ho, ho, ho! Even though I was enjoying myself eating all the treats over lockdown, work did not stop for my elves in Lapland. They have been super busy creating some lovely presents for you all. I think Mrs. Moyes and Mrs. Adams will deserve a special gift too this year, as I know they have been very good. I think we should all give them a clap for all their hard work. Now, reception and class one, I am sure you have all asked for something nice this year. I am slowly getting through all your letters of gifts that you would like to receive. I can see how hard you have all been working. And your handwriting is well done, all of you. Now, children, you should see Mrs. Shields and Mrs. Cox's Christmas list. It is pages long. Ho, ho, ho. I will have to see what we can do back at the North Pole for you all. I am loving your classroom, reception and class one. It's very tidy compared to the others. Shh. Don't tell anyone I said that. Ho, ho, ho. Uh, you children in reception of class one must show lots of your school values. I can see straight away how all of you are showing me respect in listening to what I am saying. When I was very little, which was a very long time ago, I loved Christmas time. There's a very important story I'm sure you all know. Jesus Christ was born on Christmas Day. That is why it is so special to us all. God sent Gabriel the angel to Mary to carry out his wish of becoming a mummy. Mary and Joseph travelled on a donkey all the way to Bethlehem. It was very far away and they did not have cars or sleighs. Baby Jesus was born in a little manger in a barn. Gabriel the angel told the shepherds to spread the good news about the birth of Jesus Christ. Just like we need to spread, spell, spread happiness all around us and not forgetting the three special gifts that the three wise men delivered for baby Jesus. So you see that Christmas time, receiving presents, has such an important meaning. So remember children, on Christmas morning, to have a little think about baby Jesus and how it's a special day for Jesus too. So, just like Mary, children, always follow your dreams and make those special wishes by looking for that bright star. I know you are all going to keep working very hard for me and keep looking after your friends and family and always showing kindness. Christmas Eve, yes, children, you know what that means. You must get an early night and that means no peeking out the window. Last year there was one person that my reindeers caught peeking out the window. Yes, you guessed this, children. It was Mrs. Price. So this year you must remind Mrs. Price to go to bed early. Ho, ho, ho! Well, children, it's time for me to go and say bye to you all in reception and class one. Have a lovely Christmas. And most of all, do not forget to leave my reindeers a snack. Not too much, and not forgetting a yummy mince pie for my tummy. Lots of Christmas wishes. Until next year, children. Ho, ho, ho!